Hi, it's Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. I'm going to show you another video about displaying slides and photos. There are a number of ways for you to make sort of a uh, slideshow or photo gallery or a way to display your portfolio of images, photographs, etc. And you may wonder, why do we have so many tools? Well, because there's just so many creative ways to do that. Now, you may have used a method called the Lightbox. In fact, there's an extension called the Lightbox, and you may have install that extension and use Lightbox. Lightbox is a general style of displaying images on the web. It's used, it's very common. It's used all over the internet. And Lightbox actually happens to be built into some of our tools. So there's a video already about photo gallery, so I won't go into it. But if you were to use the photo gallery tool, you'd see that Lightbox is one of the options for displaying your images. And, and then you pick what style of Lightbox that you want. But I'm going to talk about a tool called the Slideshow. It's uh, different than the Photo Gallery, and I'll show you how here in a minute. But we're going to use this tool called Slideshow. Now, when you make a slideshow, you're going to pick slides like you would with anything else. And there's my first slide. I'm going to double click and go add another slide. So I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to get my slide here. And I would continue to do this until I had a collection of slides. Now, let me go out of here for just a minute and go compare this to the photo gallery. Again, there's a video about the photo gallery, but it's important for you to know the difference. If I was to do this in the photo gallery and I was going to pick these images, you'll notice that as I add them, let me just add a couple here so you can get the point. The photo gallery actually makes a thumbnail of the images so that it's going to display all of them in this particular object. And then when I use this particular way of displaying images, I have to click on one of them and then the image comes up. And the way it comes up is determined by what style I want to use. So that's a simple photo gallery. So that's the difference between a photo gallery and a slideshow, which we're going to use now. Slideshow, you'll notice just one image came up, even though I'm picking several images. Because what it does is it only shows one image at a time. Now, the other thing I want you to notice is I picked three images. I'm going to get some more. You'll notice that the images that I'm choosing all have different shapes and sizes. So this one was kind of a square. This one was kind of more vertical. This one was more horizontal. Here's another kind of elongated one. So they're all different sizes and shapes for the most part. Let me add one more just to make our slideshow a little bit more interesting. So you can see we've got all different sizes and shapes of slides. But what happens when we use the slideshow, and here it is, is I'm going to preview it so we can see what it does. It's just a slideshow. I'm going to wait so many seconds and you can see the next slide appears. Now you'll notice that all of them are the same shape and size. And it's because the slideshow shrunk them down or squished them in such a way that they accommodate the square that I chose. Here's what I mean. So let's close this. So I decided my slideshow should be this size and this shape when I drug it out onto my screen. So if I was to do it this way, I'll exaggerate and make it really narrow so you can see. And if I was to run my slideshow like this, the slides will accommodate that shape. So the square one looks kind of funny, but these look normal because they were sort of elongated pictures. So the lesson here is it's a good idea when you make a slideshow to use images that are basically the same shape and size, but they don't have to be exact. And that's great because that means the software is going to help by sort of squaring them all up, if you will, and make them look the same. But you can make it look even better the closer they are in shape and size. So let's say we're going to make a slideshow and let's keep it, you know, kind of square like this. I'll make it maybe like that. And you'll notice that when we double click, we can set the configuration for the slideshow and we have a lot more fun with it than we just did. So for example, we just showed the slides in the sequence that I listed them here. That's what sequence means. So I can put them in a particular order. In fact, I can change that order with these buttons and show them in sequence, or I can just let the software show them at random if I want. Or I can use, again, the Lightbox Gallery method of showing these. So if I want to use Lightbox with Pretty Photo, I'm still going to get just a slideshow, but it's going to show it a little bit differently. Remember, Lightbox requires me to click on the image, and then there's my Lightbox, my fancy box, or pretty photo, or whatever it is. And it gives me all the little goodies that come with Lightbox. So that's one way to do it. 
But what I'd like to do is I want to make a standard slideshow. We're going to keep it sequence and we're going to change the effect. That is how the slides transition. This is where it gets fun. First of all, uh, it's, it defaults to no transition at all. You can see the slides were just appearing three seconds apart. But let's pick a transition. Let's say, since it's a slideshow, let's go slide left. Okay, so now our transitions are going to slide left with three seconds in between. Let's hit F5 and watch our slideshow. So we wait a few seconds and the slide is going to slide. And there it is. So obviously there's a number of ways to make transitions. But the point is, the difference is we're looking at one picture at a time and we're not clicking on an image or clicking on a thumbnail to make the image appear. It just runs automatically. And I can make it run, like I said, random or in sequence. Okay, so now let's go back and make some more changes. Three seconds is fine, so let's leave that. But let's change the effect. So here's a really, really cool one called Ken Burns. It's Ken Burns effect. Watch what this does. This changes everything for you. This makes a really nice slideshow. I'm clicking F5, and you can see it does sort of a zoom and fade effect. Looks like a real slideshow, doesn't it? So that's a really cool way to display your images as a slideshow. And again, depends on the kind of images that you have, but you can see the choices or the options that you have are really, really cool. All right, so there's more. Let's try... Uh, Let's try Puff, since these are magicians, that seems to fit. So let's do Puff, but this time let's put an, a border around our slideshow. Let's make it, just to really make it stand out, we'll make it a ridge. And I'm going to make it bright red so you can see it. And I'm going to make it really fat right now. It's so even 10 pixels fat. Now see, I made a big border around my slideshow. I'm going to click F5, and I'm using an effect called Puff. And of course you have to wait three seconds and there it is puffs right into place apparently that's what puff means so you can see there are just a lot of really neat ways of creating a demonstration of your work your images your photographs by using these different tools and slideshow is a great one to start with either the slideshow or the photo gallery tool great ones to start with just trying to remember that lightbox is just one of many effects that are built into these other tools. So enjoy that because that's a pretty fun toy to play with in 90 Second Website Builder.